Uh, just a quick one really, it's just explaining on how you can trim your bearded dragon's claws down with things like Chinese water dragons and species that tend to climb a lot. Um, I generally don't trim the nails down for the reason that they do use them to climb. Um, with that though, with Chinese water dragons, they do get very sharp. I've got scratches and marks all up my arm and all up my back from them. Um, it's just something you put up with, deal with it, put a jumper on, put a thick jumper on, something like that would do fine. The things with bearded dragons, uh, or species that tend to be on the ground a lot, um, you can either trim the nails, or what I tend to do is I put a few rocks, quite a few rocks in there, or with hard substances, um, and that will wear the claws down if they move a lot. May take a long time if your dragon is quite docile or doesn't move around much, um, but it will work anyway, nonetheless. But if you do want to trim them down, I've got a couple of uh, tips for you. Uh, tip number one, have a good pair of clippers. Uh, bird clippers are perfect. You can buy special reptile clippers. You can use human clippers if you want to, but make sure it's a good pair, because otherwise it's just going to chip and crack and damage the nails. Um, and number two, when you're doing a bearded dragon specifically, um, don't hit the nerves, don't trim the nerves. You'll see, uh, it'll look like this. I don't know how well you can see that. See how you have the black bit, that's the actual nail, and then there's a white bit underneath, that's the nerves, that contains the nerves right there. That's the bit you don't want to cut. Don't cut into the white bit. Um, that's now that'll be too long. And let's just check that you can see that. See how the, the nail comes over? You want to cut it to about there. Something, something similar to that, that'd be fine. Um, just make sure that you don't hit this white area here because that contains the nerves it can be very very painful distressing um, put your bearded dragon through a lot of discomfort um, and there's a chance of it infection as well um, so really ideally if you're gonna if it's your first time ask your vet to show you how to do it um, or get somebody experienced you will need to um, preferably have the two of two people to do it, uh, one to hold the bearded dragon or the, the dragon uh, and another to do the actual clip inside um, as may struggle as long as you don't hit that white area it's not going to be hurting any, anything so uh, just be careful when you're snipping um, give it a good couple of meals uh, like I say with them though I tend to just keep a few rocks in keeps it nice and keeps the nails nice and low um, and with things like Chinese water dragons I don't even bother to be honest with you let them scratch you that's part of the fun at the end of the day and, uh, yeah I think that's it if there's any questions please uh, please ask and I will answer away cheers thank you